Hello and welcome to Social Kandura Drives. My name is Gaurav and today we've got the very exciting GMC Yukon in the AT4 format. Now this piece right here is powered by a 6.2 litre V8 that gives you enough grunt to get anything that's thrown on this car. The AT4 is the off-road version of this car and there are a few caveats that you get when you go for the full off-road performance. You get the off-road tyres, you get a skid plate and you also get a very nice sounding exhaust and the car also has an auto leveling feature. Let me show you all of these different things that the GMC Yukon has to offer. So right on the front, you've got these beautiful big set of LED headlights, which are completely LED, give you immense amount of bright light in the evening. And you also got LED fog lights over here as well. Big massive grill over here with an illuminated GMC grill. And here's where the 84 gets really interesting. From the factory, you get these skid plates, which make sure that when you go off-road, when you go on the rocks or when you go on the dunes, you've got all of your under chassis over here covered. You've also got these two big red tow hooks, which make sure in case you're stuck, which let me tell you is very difficult on this car, you can pull yourself out with these two big red hooks that's on the front. The overall front of the car has a very menacing look and it has quite the presence when you drive this down Sheikh Zayed Road. Moving on to the side of what this car has to offer, you can see that these are the Goodyear off-road, uh, sorry, these are the uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires that you get with these cars. Very good thread grip and it's amazing when you try to go off-roading with this car. Now moving to the side of rest of the car, very good side mirrors. There is a slight amount of blind spot with this car, but you do have the active blind spot detection which lets you know if someone is right next to you. However, these mirrors, you, it's recommended to make sure you pay attention to the cars that's right next to you. As you can see, this is a very big car that you're driving. You've also got the pedal steps. So as soon as you open the doors, these steps come out, making ingress and outgress a lot easier. Moving on to the back, you've got this beautiful line extended over here, which gives this car really a lot of girth of the length that the car has to offer. Now on the back, of here, obviously you've got the GMC branding and very similar looking tail lights to what you see on the front. Here's where a lot of things are hidden inside this car to give it a very clean look. For example, your tow hook, everything gets hidden on this side of the car. You've got your quad exhausts and you've got a spare tire that's hiding underneath. Now talking about dimensions of this car, we know how difficult it is to get in and out of the car to remove seats and things, everything around there. The trunk opens up, you've got a power uh, trunk release, but here's where GMC has really thought this through. If you come right around over here, you've got these various buttons that help you deploy these seats and they can go all the way down. So when I tap this button electronically, this seat slides down, giving you ample amount of space. The same thing with the other seat as well and it completely deploys down, giving you ample amount of space that you don't need to reach in there and close everything that gives you a lot of flexibility and you look very comfortable when you're doing all of these things. Huge cargo area, we've got captain seats on the back, so you've got two dedicated seats for the passengers and overall the sheer length of this car itself makes it a very, very comfortable ride. Now on the back, you've got these beautiful lights. You've got this beautiful step that goes down over there. So making, like I said, ingressing and outgressing much easier. You can just step on this, get down and you're back in over here as well. You've got premium Bose stereo system here. So make sure that you stay completely entertained. Lock on lock button and all chrome finishes all across over here. Our tester comes also with a rare entertainment system. So your guests, your passengers that are sitting on the back have complete access to this entertainment system that makes sure that they stay entertained. On the back, you've also got your heated seats and you've got your climate control on the back. You've got two USB 3 chargers and two regular USB chargers as well to make sure that everything is nice and tucky over here. You've got an air vent over here to beat the Dubai heat. So you've got that for both of the passenger and the co-passenger side. Let me take you to the front of the car where things get very interesting. Now here's where the real stuff happens. This is the driver's compartment that the car has to offer. Big doors that you can see around over here. And there's some interesting things that GMC has got in over here. A lot of things might be interesting to new users, but a lot of things are quite a debate of how we can do this. Now when you jump into the inside of this car, it's a beautiful place to be in. Not only do you have a big sunroof over here, got these big glasses, and you sit really high up on the road. So you've got very good visibility all across. You have that commanding presence that you can see over here. And there are a few things over here which GMC has really put their thoughts into it. For example, you've got this beautiful screen over here that gives you all the information about which speed you're doing, which direction you're going, what the RPMs are, what are the different, different sections that you have to keep in mind. And it's pretty well laid over here. And as you drive around, you can see exactly what the car is doing. 
Now, a lot of people that don't, that haven't driven GMCs before, that haven't driven any American car before, the audio and the volume is actually hidden over here behind the steering wheel. So you got to feel them and then that's where exactly your buttons are. To the left lower section over here, you've got a few buttons which keeps you engaged with what the car is doing. You've got your 360 uh, camera pictures over there. So once you click that on, you've got the entire 360 that comes across the car. You've got your four wheel low, four wheel high, the auto settings and all of those things as well. The car also comes with an adjustable ride height. So if you do go plan on going off-road, you can lift the car up with a hydraulic suspension and you can go about doing off-roading this car as well, which by the way, does really, really well. The gear system over here is something that's new for this year. So instead of your Yankee sticks, you've got the park reverse, neutral drive, and then your manual shifter over here, all integrated into this. Next big thing on this is this beautiful screen that gives you beautiful 360 all across. It's got Android Connect and Apple CarPlay, and it's got very, very tactile feature. You can see it's very easy to move around. If the phone is on charge, it tells you this got a phone that you've got on charge. Your home system and everything else is very beautifully laid out, and it's very reactive, very fast. So that gives you an idea of how well this car is built in terms of entertainment and everything else as well. Now the maps itself is right off Google. So it uses Android Auto and you've got the Google Maps and it's very responsive, very good to search through everything as well. Lower over here, you've got these very well laid out infotainment control system. So you've got your music for the left and the right, your music system on, home and all of those things. Your climate control sits in this nice big little area. Now you actually got screens inside this that tell you the temperature that you want to set it and then you can move this around. Very premium finish, very good to read after. Of course, you do get the heated and ventilated seats. That's all around over here. And you've got the rear AC controls from the side as well. And you also get a wireless power charger where you can place your phones to charge. And you've also got another place over here to place your additional phones to charge. So they really take care of the passengers and the drivers as well. Now, when you open this up, you also get a nice intercooler over here, a nice fridge that keeps everything cool that you want to put inside over there. So this is nice and cold inside over here, nice for a cold bottle of water. And you also have two more USB jacks over here in case you want to charge any of the devices that the wire comes out through here. So there's nothing that's being mushed around. Huge center console over here, enough for two people to keep their elbows and nothing comes on the way. Two more cup holders for the passengers on the back. On the top over here, you've got the GMC's favorite famous OnStar system. In case of any accidents, collisions, you've got that, you can reach them out directly. You've got your sunroof controls over here, and this is controlling the rear seats. So you can move the rear seats back from over here in case you want to uh, fly down. And then these are the, for the rear trunk as to how much you want the trunk to be released. The three different settings on those. And then you've got a touch to close and touch to open reading map light as well. Let's go ahead and drive this car and let's see what the driving impressions of this car looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and close the shade because it's north of 50 degrees outside. And as you can see, we don't enjoy spending too much time outdoors. Now, driving the car is very simple. As we turn into the car, just put it in drive, let go of the gas pedal, and then you've got the car that's moving around. Because you sit so high on this car and because you've got such a commanding presence all across, driving this car is very easy and given its very long dimensions you might assume that manu maneuvering this car is going to be slightly difficult but it actually is not with the 360 camera that the car has and all the other aids it's a very comfortable car to be driving around now because there are a lot of advanced features that this gmc comes with there is one which is a particularly nice feature that i personally love in case the car needs your attention immediately if it's if you're going to collide with another car or if you're getting into someone else's lane or if you're doing something mischievous the seat of the driver passenger actually vibrates to give you an alert, the car demands your attention. And that I think is something very beautiful that GMC has incorporated into this car. Because you're driving such a big car, it's great to know if the car urgently needs your attention for something or the other. The first time that happens, it can be a bit scary, but eventually you get, you get used to it. And then you know the car demands your attention every time you try to do something that's mischievous.